And now weather with meteorologist Beth Finello. We started off this morning chilly. It was 42 degrees this morning in Springfield, 39 in Joplin, 41 down in Branson. We started off the day at 45 in West Plains. The sun came out, the clouds thinned out, and temperatures are warming up into the 60s. Still at 61 right now in Springfield with a northeast wind at about 8 miles per hour. It's 63 in Branson, 63 in West Plains, and 60 up in Rolla. We are running about 10 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday. However, this morning with those cold temperatures, we were actually running about 20 degrees colder than we were yesterday morning. So thankfully the sun came out and we did get to warm up a little bit into the 60s. Radar is quiet. We do have some showers down in central Arkansas, but otherwise a very quiet picture, which is something we haven't seen in so long, but it's not going to stay. We've got this high pressure sitting over us. That's what helped thin out those clouds just a little bit and enough to see the sunshine. But we've got a low pressure system off to our west that is sending in moisture out of the Gulf and off of the west coast and sending in some disturbances that we'll see on Saturday with that shower chances over uh, Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle. So here's how all of this is going to time out. Temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s tonight by about 3, 4 o'clock when those shower chances will uptick in our western counties. And then by sunrise, a little after sunrise, is when those showers will make it here in Springfield. And then they'll spread across the rest of the Ozarks. Temperatures only going to top off in the 50s. I don't think anybody's going to get to see 60 tomorrow. We'll keep the mostly cloudy conditions and we'll keep the shower chances through the day on Saturday. And we can't rule out an isolated shower for the day on Sunday. I think we'll stay mostly dry, but notice we can't rule out those spotty showers. There'll be light sprinkles for the day on Sunday, but we'll keep Keep a mix of sun and clouds through the day as well. Saturday, like I just mentioned, looks cool and looks wet. Now, we're not expecting any severe weather with this round of showers, but we are expecting between a quarter to almost three quarters of an inch of rain will stay cool with temperatures in the 50s for most of the day. Those higher amounts will stay south and east because that's where it'll be a little bit closer to our low pressure system. But I do think everyone will at least get to see some rain through the day on Saturday. We have that slight chance on Sunday. Monday looks dry and then our next rain chances comes Tuesday into Wednesday as another front comes through bringing in some showers. If you wanted to go camping this weekend for Mother's Day, you might want to grab your blankets tonight. Temperatures will drop into the the 40s and we're going to keep those shower chances into the day tomorrow. If you're wanting to go golfing, I think I'd hold off until Sunday because we do have that shower chance again throughout much of the day tomorrow and cooler temperatures only topping off in the 50s. But Mother's Day looks warmer with temperatures in the upper 60s and a mix of sun and clouds. And again, can't rule out an isolated shower or two. Temperatures warm back up into the 70s by Monday with more sunshine. We'll have increasing clouds Tuesday and that chance of showers returns on Wednesday. Okay, you know, it's funny, like the past seven weeks or so, my son's been playing soccer, and yeah. I think all the soccer families <laughs> feel like we've been playing inside yeah. more than we have outside. Yep. It's because of all the rain. It looks like it might be that way again tomorrow. Yeah, looks um, like it. That's all right. Yeah.